Do you guys want to know about all the facial spray sunscreens this summer? Because I've tested them all out and I'm going to give you the tea on these. I think that these are all actually good just to spoil it, okay? But you want to watch this video further to see which one of these is for you. We have the Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Mist SPF 45. Um, we have the Pacifica Set and Protect Matte Sheer. So we have some matte options for y'all. The new e.l.f all set for sun skin um, sunscreen, the Black Girl Make It Glow Face and Body Sunscreen, and the Morphe Sunsetter. Let's go ahead and get into it and my thoughts on these. This first one is the Pacifica Glow Baby Brightening Setting Spray. This is SPF 45. This comes in a beautiful glass packaging. I do actually really like this one. It is the glowiest of the bunch and maybe the oiliest as well. So be cautious about that. One disclaimer, if you are going to use any of these setting sprays because they are sunscreen based, keep your eyes closed until it dries. This shit is still in the air after you stop spraying it and if you open your eyes or open your mouth you are going to get it in your orifices and it will sting it will burn and if you breathe it in your your i guess the inside of your nostrils will be protected from the sun but it will burn a little too so maybe just don't breathe don't open your mouth and your eyes until it's settled down on your face it gives it a couple seconds and it wouldn't be a bad idea to like go to timu or amazon and get you a, a little fan and just fan fan that bad boy down then open your eyes and then it's safe too but back to this this is the glowiest this is the most beautiful and it does wear well with makeup um and i have really actually enjoyed that one moving forward is the elf one all set for sun skin spf 45 this one is an in-between this is going to be perfect for all skin types because it's not too dewy or glowy um it's not too matte either but this would definitely work for oilier skin types my only complaint is sometimes elf does have more affordable options but the packaging is significantly smaller and in this one i do believe um this one may not be the best bang for your buck at two fluid ounces for this one I believe the Morphe one is the same price and we've got 3.4, but nonetheless, this is perfect for oily skin. I do feel like it did set the makeup and made it look good all day. And if you reapply it, it didn't mess with anything, didn't get anything into any fine lines and wrinkles or any of that mess. So I did like that one. I do also like this Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Glow. This one is the second glowiest of the bunch you will see in the footage. I like the spritzer and sprayer on this one. It really feels like it drenches your skin and again it wore perfectly over makeup and I actually really do enjoy this sunscreen. Pacifica set and protect matte sheer sunscreen is 40 SPF 45 as well. This one is the mattest of the bunch. I think if you have oily skin and you're really really super duper concerned about it um, this is good over makeup as well and it's the matte most matte. The second would be the elf. This one if you were in between is four fluid ounces and this is two. This is double the size. I think it was Pacifica one was 16 or 18 dollars and this one's 14 dollars i really do think if you have oily skin this may be your best option the spritzer on this one is pretty fine as well and you will see the finish on his skin with my little cut throughs that i have applying of these every day um and this just i don't know this one is actually really good i would say um the glowiest and hoiest one that i liked was the black girl sunscreen and the matte one was this one but moving forward with the morphe this one was pretty glowy as well i just don't like the fragrance on this it's like way strong and i would say that this pacifica one has like no fragrance just in case you were worried about that this one's like a really strong alcohol smell i know that all of these have alcohol in them but this one's super strong and tropically as well i didn't mind this one at all but it wasn't my favorite for sure i would definitely say again these two were my favorite and i think they're perfect to fit i like the size it fit perfectly in your beach bag in your purse or what have you this is three fluid ounces and this one's four fluid ounces on these ones and i just think perfect purse perfect beach bag perfect take it along with you to make those um make reapplying easier with sunscreen this isn't going to be the best option i do know that spray sunscreens um aren't covering your skin the way they should but if you have makeup on you may not have another option sis and i think that this is better than doing nothing like the most of us do we just put sunscreen on in the beginning of the day and go on about our days and don't reapply because i know i'm um 
not good about that. I never have, and I probably never will, even with having all these sunscreens, to be honest with you. Uh, but they are there for me to use now, and I feel like it is convenient and easy, and a lot of them do have a lot of really good skincare benefits that you're adding back into your skin midday. There's nothing that could be wrong with these. Um, really can't. So hopefully this video is helpful. Like and subscribe if you want to see more helpful beauty content from me in the future.